Do you know where Paddington comes from? He comes from deepest, darkest Peru. My name is Steve Layton, and I travel the world finding amazing and delicious coffee for you to drink at home. Some make coffee difficult to understand and complicated, but here it's my job to make it easy and fun and tell you what's in my mug. So this week we're off to Peru. Peru, at last. We have a Peru. Um, this comes from a guy called Hermes Sandoval Hurman. You see, it's a new coffee to us. It's one we found through uh, through our import partners that we found uh, just a few weeks ago when we found our Ecuador. It's the same people that are working in Peru uh, and have really been working in these coffee regions that have not been producing amazing quality to try and improve the quality. So giving them information, giving them training, giving them help, but also giving them a route to market. Um, these are our partners that we work with in Colombia. Um, and it's really good that we're suddenly be able to find these unusual coffees. But this coffee is a little different. A few months ago, we made a decision that we should maybe register as uh, organic certified. Now, lots of the coffees that we bought over the past uh, 20 years have been organic. Most coffee producers either have organic principles um, or have even been organic certified, but because we were the last part of the chain that wasn't certified, we've never been able um, to put it on the bag that it's organic. Um, well, this one is, and it is on the bag that it's organic because uh, we've gone through that process again. Um, and this is mainly for the importing uh, part of what we do. So we import a lot of coffees uh, and we may sell some of those green coffees to other people. And we really needed to have that certification. And we thought, well, if we've got it for the importing, why don't we put it on the bags? And if that's something that floats your boat and makes you excited, then uh, it's something that we can, uh, we can definitely offer. The farm is around about six hectares, so kind of going straight back to where I was. That was a lovely little linking, wasn't it? Smooth. I'm just, about three and a half hectares of it is planted with coffee. This is uh, Katayi and Pache, uh, two varietals that if you've been on in my mug for any amount of time, you'll have definitely cupped before. Uh, goes through around about a 15 to 20 day drying process. Um, and as I say, it's the first year of us having it. It won a competition in 2017 called the uh, Finca Flor de Caffa, um, uh, which is uh, an internal coffee competition that they have. Um, and I think it's fantastic and I can't wait to go and brew it. But before I brew it, I'm sorry, here comes Roland with his daft back to the week. Look, he's working. Well, I think he's playing solitaire. Roland, do you have a daft fact for us for this week? I do, Steve. Did you know that the Spanish established... No. <laughs> the, the Spanish established. Go on, then. Never work with children, animals or Stephen Layton. Wise, wise words. <laughs> Okay, so this week we're going to be using the Kalita. Um, the Kalita is something I'm a big fan of, as you know. Um, probably my second most used brewer after the Chemex. It's different to the Chemex because it has a flat bottom. Flat bottom brewing does give you something different. Now, I'm going to um, make this coffee. And while I'm making this coffee, I want you to watch the brew guide. And when you come back, I'm going to tell you everything that's on there is wrong. And I've done it differently for this one. Ah! Okay, so that's nearly brewed through. I'm going to get a mug of doom. And when I come back, I'm going to tell you why I would do it differently. So I've been playing with this coffee a little bit. Um, because it's a new coffee, I didn't know a lot about how to brew it or what to do. So I started with the brew guide, like I would suggest you started with the brew guide, because that's a nice middle part. But actually, what I went for with this was 36 grams of coffee uh, to 500 ml of water. And what it felt was, if I didn't have that up dose, I wasn't really getting the body or the texture and, and getting a lot of those characteristics come through that I really wanted to see. Into the mug. So this week's mug is the coffee meter. You are going to see repeats of these every time I go in, and you've probably seen this one before if you've watched every one. Out of coffee, need more coffee. That line says nope. That says seriously go away. 
but it doesn't say go away. And that lie says, no talking, need coffee. And that was a nice present from somebody, so I shouldn't say too many bad things. So, the brew guide. Always start with the brew guide. That's where I started, but it isn't the Bible. It, doesn't, it isn't a set of commands and laws that you must follow. I don't know if the Bible is that either, but perhaps I shouldn't go there. But it isn't a set of rule books. It's not a law book. It's not a, you must do this. It's somewhere to start. It's somewhere to begin, and then somewhere to develop from. And I really encourage you to play. Don't just do what you're told. Um, Be free. Run through the fields. Preferably with some clothes on. Um, so let's dive into the coffee. The reason why I really liked this coffee was I think the flavours are pretty distinct. You really get this like poached pear, but like a poached pear in red wine. So it's that kind of juiciness of wine mixed with that kind of soft, sweet pear-like um, acidity. Um, and then you've got a little bit of sweetness from like a cocoa nib type flavour. But on the back end, this is just weird, like cinnamon flavour that just kind of goes on and on and on that you're not expecting. All of those flavours together really kind of come because you think about like a poached pear. Well, you can poach pears in red wine. You can add uh, cinnamon to that. A little bit of cocoa news. That wouldn't go amiss either. It sounds like a delicious dessert. And it's a delicious coffee. Um, so I hope you enjoy our uh, first foray in a long time. Listen, thank you for joining me. Um, please do come back soon. Um, and do remember, life is too short for bad coffee. Paru, paru, paru. Uh, organic certification. Aha! <laughs> I found it by mistake.